Okay, hey guys, check this out. We're gonna do a, a cool looking entertainment stand today um, with a TV set and we're gonna put a 27 Ford cab in it. It's pretty confusing until you see it come together, but basically in my living room in my own house, I've got a 1927 Ford cab in there. They got a flat windshield in them. A 40 inch screen TV fits in them pretty good. Um, I've had it in there for 10 years. A lot of people ask me about it and I thought, you know what, maybe I'll just build one so you guys can see how they go together. And um, you could use it in your shop, you could put it in your house, um, in your backyard, around your landscaped area, which that's probably where mine's gonna go um, when we get done with this one. So uh, follow along, it's gonna be fun. All right, so here's a bunch of stuff that we went to the hardware store and got yesterday. Um, whole load of stuff, got some landscaping, I got some steel in here that I already kind of pre-cut over at my other shop. Um, we're going to build basically a base that this is going to sit on with casters on it so you can roll it around. And that's the first thing we're going to get started on right now. good okay so these are our casters so when we go to put this thing together we want to be able to roll this around no matter where it's at with these spinning all the way around you should be able to do a 360 you know spin it around somewhere um, get it up against a wall but it's gonna be kind of heavy so you want to be able to get some good wheels on it that'll roll nice these are pretty good quality casters so it should go good I'm gonna level this out, I'm gonna weld it in. When I'm done, I'll flip the thing over and then we can actually get this thing on the ground and start rolling it around and looking at it. Um, and weld this in a base around here. So we can go ahead and start bolting the cab down. So it'll take a little bit of work, but here in about another 45 minutes, we should see it start coming together. Okay, so these, these pieces right here are actually for the, I've got a three quarter inch plywood that's gonna lay in here. And that's gonna be our foundation for our cab. So the cab is gonna sit in here and this is gonna be three inches of mulch in there for landscaping. Cause we're gonna have this all landscaped. It's gonna look cool. Um, you won't see none of this. This is all gonna be covered in wood. Um, all this is just to put the wood on to support it, support the cab. Okay, so this is our uh, rack basically that's gonna carry our cab. So there's gonna be 27 or truck cab on here. Now we're gonna landscape all this and you'll see when it gets done, it'll look pretty cool. But right now I need to go out here to my junkyard and see if I can find a decent cab. I know I got two of them out there, um, but we just gotta pick out the best of the two. So let's go check it out. Okay, so here's one of the cabs that I got out here. This is a 27 uh, Ford pickup truck. It was probably a, a one ton at some point. It's pretty rough. This, this one here is pretty tweaked, the front end. Right here is all beat in on the cowl right here. And the back cab corner is all, I don't know, it looks like it been in a pretty bad wreck. Um, I was out here the other day trying to find some doors. This door actually is a little bit short, which I don't care, we can just make it work. But let's go look at the other one. That one's a little rough. So, so the cool thing about these 27T cabs is that we take the time out of them, you get rid of some stuff, you could put a uh, pretty close to a 40 inch screen TV in here. Now, usually on a TV, they measure it corner to corner. This is like 43. Um, the TV that I got for it should just barely fit in here. Um, if it doesn't, we'll, uh, we'll cut this lip off right here and we'll get it to fit in there. Sometimes I have to mount them on the inside. This one here, I'm gonna try to make it flush as I can. 
Um, it's a little rickety. I'm gonna have to straighten it out and beat some dents out of it. But um, this is the one you wanna look for if you're gonna do a flat screen TV in it. Um, it's really kind of cool. I mean, it's not a huge TV set, but it's really cool for your bedroom. It's cool for your shop, things like that. So when we get done with this, it's gonna look super badass. This cab is in a lot better shape. The thing I like about this cab, it's already got one door on it, which would be nice for an access door if you need to get into the TV set at some point. But um, the front's not as beat up on this thing. Um, this door is not the door that goes to it, but I'm gonna weld it on there anyway, because um, we're gonna use this. I mean, I don't have another door. Um, it doesn't matter, it's really pretty close. I think once I get this in there and I weld it on, it won't look bad. You won't even hardly know the difference. So anyway, we're gonna take this cab. It's pretty rickety. So there's gonna need some bracing needs to be developed in this thing so we can anchor it down to the wood that we're gonna have in there so it's solid. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna grab a bobcat and see if we can get this in the shop. Okay, so we got the, we got the uh, platform basically in here. So this is gonna be our landscaped area. That cab right there is gonna go on here. Um, we'll probably push it to the back, landscape all around it. Um, it's gonna be cool. We got a lot of cool stuff to landscape in here. We're gonna trim it with wood right now. So all around the face of this is gonna be wood. Um, we're gonna get started on that right now. Just need to knock the ground to there. Everybody wants to know how you weld the rust. You gotta be really careful with rust. Cause you wanna just go into it. And if your pig weld, if your pig welding like this, you'll burn a hole through it quick. Basically, just getting this something to stand on to level the cab out. These are just stands, and I'm gonna weld a tab on here so we can screw it to the wood so it's secure. And then you probably won't see very much of that when it's done because you'll see, I'm gonna have it all landscaped. You probably won't see this when I'm done. But this is just basically to, to level it out and give it a little stability right now. Okay, so this is our 4K smart TV. I got a 4K smart TV, so we're really not gonna be watching any cable with this anyway, right? Who watches cable TV anymore? You don't watch cable, you watch Welder Up YouTube channel. That's all you should be watching. I got this little kit right here because I think it's adjustable. And that's what we wanna do is we wanna be able to adjust it a little bit when it's in there. Depending on how the, where the TV sits, if it sits, you know, high. But see the way that this thing's gonna sit, if you're laying in your bed at home, it should be high enough where you could just lay and watch TV. It's not clear up on the wall, but it's high enough where you'll be able to watch it. Over the, over some of these that I've built before, you know, you wanna make sure that you can, you can see it from your bed, right? We don't need those. Okay. No, I'm just kidding, I need them directions. <laughs> so what my plan is, I'm gonna take what I got here I've never really used one of these. I always kind of use my own. I make my own, but I'm just thinking if somebody at home wants to make one of these, the best thing to do is probably buy these brackets. They were 25 bucks. Um, you can get them on Amazon. You can get the TV on Amazon. You can get all this shit on Amazon. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this all bolted on, get this on there, and then I'll attach whatever I'm gonna do inside of there to this. So that's what I'm gonna work on right now. All right, so the idea is, is that the TV is like really, it's like a three quarters of an inch. It ought to fit right on here, flush up against this. We want it to sit flush up against this because I have built them before where the TV's inside. If the TV's inside, sometimes your remote control don't work. So you wanna make sure that your screen is on the, you know, right in here and fits pretty tight. Cause if, it, if it's right there, your remote control will work good. So I'm gonna finish cutting this out. Basically, we get weld a bracket on, we can weld a bracket here, onto here, come over, and then tie it into here, or right here, and then you're good. 
then if you ever want to take the TV out, you just tilt it forward, tilt the TV forward and pull it out. Easy. That way when you, if it's in your backyard and you want to take the TV in the house, you just unplug it and pull it out. Okay, so the bra this is the bracket that comes in the kit. We uh, modified it, weld it to our bracket. Now this is stuck in here. Now the good thing about the bracket that we got or the wall mount is you can, you can remove it. So if you wanna keep this outside by your pool or you know out by the fire pit, you can, um, you can take the TV in the house, unplug it and take it in. So your Wi-Fi should pick up, pick up all of your, you know, Netflix and whatever else you want to watch and YouTube, welder up. I'm just saying, you know, it's coming together though. A long day, we got this thing all set up. Um, as you can see, we got the cab in it, all the woods on it. There's still a little bit of trim work that we still got to do to it. Um, but now it's just going to be kind of the fun part. We've got the TV mounted, so it'll go in easy. Now it's landscaping. So this will be kind of fun. This will be the decorating part. So it'll come together pretty fast now. It's going to look good. Okay, so what we're doing now is I thought it'd be cool to have a little waterfall feature in it. You know, even if you're not watching TV, you're sitting in your living room or wherever you want to hear water run. This was cheap. I think it was 50 bucks for that. I bought this one. It, this only comes in the kit right here. So you have to buy this extra tub, but I thought it'd be cool to elevate that and plant flowers in here and make it so you could actually, you know, have some flowers that look kind of cool. This is where it pays off right now. This is it, dude. I wonder if I can get that there. Okay, so here's our uh, entertainment stand, welder up style. Um, it was it was cool. It was the fabrication part is kind of boring, um, which was this morning. Um, once you get through all that and you start getting the wood on it, that's when it starts getting fun. Um, you know, of course, the best part of it is, to me is decorating it and doing all the landscaping. Everything in here is alive, so it, it's you need to water it. It grows. So you might have to trim it, but it's pretty cool. We got a little waterfall feature in it. 
And it's just, you know, it's just cool. I mean, if you had this in your house or in your office at work or like even in your shop, this is, this is perfect. People just stand here and look at it. It's kind of cool because the water runs. So at night while you're sleeping, you can kind of hear it just running. It's just, it's cool. Everything in here, all this wood chips is all cedar. So if you wet it down, it smells great. So the shop right now smells like cedar. It's really cool. But hey, look, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of work. Um, I think I put 11 hours in it today. I had probably four or five hours in it yesterday shopping for stuff that I needed. Um, and just, you know, lots of little stuff that you don't see. But if you wanna do one at home, just plan on taking a week and doing it. Cause uh, I've done a couple of them before. So I kind of already knew what was going on, but um, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our page. Cause we're gonna keep doing some cool stuff. So thanks for watching.